I too want to begin by thanking the staff. Uh, we just can't function around here if we don't have good and competent staff, both partisan and nonpartisan. And they've been amazing how they're able to still keep everything running and smoothly from their home offices mostly. So thank you all to our wonderful staff. Senator Sinjim, thank you for your kind words. And um, I just wanted to remind you that um, all spring and summer I was eager to be part of the process, to be helpful, um, and I was very glad to finally to be included during the last couple of weeks and as you said, help get this bill across the finish line. Um, we really have a lot more in common than we differ in terms of what we want to see in a bonding bill and that is this bonding bill will touch every Minnesotan in our great state. Um, the emphasis has been on asset preservation, on public health and safety, very important in these COVID days, on preserving essential and expanding essential infrastructure infrastructure, preserving and enhancing our great outdoors. Um, we really see how now um, this is a safe place for us to be and recreate, uh, even though we're socially distanced. And so having a place to do that, our wonderful trails and parks is really important to all of our health and supporting our higher ed institutions. So I just want to start by applauding the inclusion of the child development building at the University of Minnesota on the Twin Cities campus. They have their private match. This is a world-renowned program. I visited, the bonding committee has visited the inadequate building that they're in right now, and so I'm just very excited to uh, see that included. I mentioned preserving our outdoor amenities uh, and the necessity of doing that in COVID. And we, when we look at the Department of Natural Resources, we see, um, combined with the funding we've done through the Met Council, how we are doing that in this bill. We have everything from the Lake Vermilion Sudan Underground Mine State Park to the city of Mankato Riverbank Stabilization to the city of Rochester Cascade Lake Park Improvements to the city of Winona Mississippi Riverfront Trail. Um, under the Pollution Control Agency and the Public Finances Authority, we're looking at clean water, at how we deal with our waste, how we do recycling all over our state from Clay County to Pope Douglas to Ramsey, Washington. And I'm really proud that we have funded the MDA, MDH, Department of Agriculture, Department of Health Joint Laboratory, again, in the age we live in to support our um, our labs and to support the development of good science is really important to the entire state. Um, then I just wanted to mention how we don't really need another tragic bri bridge collapse that shocked the world. When the Minneapolis 35W bridge fell down, it was on the front page of the Jerusalem Post. My children who live there called me and my friends called me and said, are you okay? Were you anywhere near? And now we have a similar bridge in the city of St. Paul, the 3rd Street Kellogg Bridge. So this has been in the works for the last three years and I'm very happy to see it in this bill as well as multiple um, other funds, uh, funding that we're doing for roads and bridges. Um, the, uh, the, the busway, bus rapid transit is in here for the next, the B and the C line, I believe. And this is a way we get people to work. So as we talk about jobs, there still will be people who don't work out of their home office who have to get to work. And in continuing and developing our bus rapid transit lines is, is crucially important. Again, under human services, asset preservation, asset preservation, under corrections, asset preservation, preserving what we had. And finally with, or maybe, hopefully finally, only page six of the handout, um, these incredible local needs. I, our local communities, we've been hesitant to include them in our bonding bills because we know the needs are great. And um, we've kind of are doing that in this bill. And it's everything from the City of Alexandria Runestone Community Center to Chatfield Center for the Arts, Phase 3, the City of Grand Rapids, Itasca Recreation Association, the City of Plymouth, the Plymouth Creek Center, City of St. Cloud, their athletic complex, the City of St. Paul, the wonderful Victoria Theater, the City of Wyzetta, the Boardwalk Project. It just These are just examples of how this bill is going to touch every Minnesota. Back to wastewater treatment, 
the city of Bemidji, the city of Deer River, the Lincoln Pipestone, the city of Orinoco, the city of Randolph, the city of West St. Paul. We have to have clean water. It's a crisis in our community. And this is just a handful of projects that we're funding. Public Facilities Authority, $269 million. That's, that's gotta be a record. Um, I'm also very excited to see the housing infrastructure bonds at 100 million. We need more, we need more, we need more. Affordable housing is a crisis. Um, we also need emergency housing. We have an issue with homeless population all over our state. It's a disgrace that people can't afford homes and can't get the services that they need, the mental health and the chemical dependency services, the social workers to help them be able to stay in, in stable housing. And finally, it's about time we recognize some of our nonprofit communities, especially our indigenous nonprofits, and we've done that with our our equity, um, our equity provision. Thank you all, uh, members. I hope to see um, a green vote. It was very impressive what happened in the other body late last night, and uh, I just hope that we will, if not um, surpass them, at least match them in the enthusiasm for this wonderful, wonderful infrastructure bill. Thank you.